a good uh, Monday. Look who it is, Kelly Pickler is back as my co-host. Oh, I'm, so I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate you uh, you working on this Columbus Day. A lot of people have Columbus Day off. I appreciate you willing to work. I love to work. I love to work as well. I love to work. I hope you're having the day off. I hope you're having a good Columbus Day at home. Uh, we have a huge show. Um, Chris Renee is here from the Astros. <laughs> He's going to be. Uh, He's today. got a lot of fans. Uh, they call themselves Renellians. You've got the sign, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I'm right here. That's the name of his, uh, his new album. So he'll, uh, great. Where are you from? Long Island. Long Island. Oh, all right, wow. great. We got folks who came from all around, I know. A lot of people brought signs. Uh, we also, uh, in a moment, we're going to talk to uh, Andy Cohen from Bravo about last night's uh, uh, reunion of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Crazy. Ooh. I never saw it. Uh, also, uh, we got this amazing hidden camera investigation. I've lately noticed, like, how angry people seem to be and quick people are to fight. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we did a whole hidden camera investigation about anger. And we're also going to give you some tips about what you can do when you feel like you're reaching the boiling point to kind of step back from the brink. Because I think there's a lot, there's too much anger and too much yes. fighting going on. Speaking of which, in the news today, uh, this story out of Philadelphia is just crazy. A wedding brawl. Oh. At about 2 a.m., two wedding parties. It's not clear at this point what really started. There was apparently a fight between two brothers. Somebody threw something and hit somebody else from another wedding party. Take a look what happened in the lobby of a nice hotel in Philadelphia. And see, the bride is there in the middle in the white dress by the desk. Oh, my goodness. That's the bride, one of the brides right there. The police showed up and started hitting people with batons. This is all being videotaped by a, a kid. Oh, look, there she is. Yeah, that's the bride oh, right there. Goodness. This is being videotaped by a kid who was woken up at 2 a.m. and was annoyed at the noise in the <laughs> lobby. It was the kid's birthday. Oh, it was his birthday. I know. And what's even worse is uh, a number of people were arrested, and somebody died of a heart, heart attack. attack. One goodness. of the bride's uncles died of a heart attack, and... He, it was actually his birthday, the uncle's birthday. They've just, uh, his name, uh, according to um, local affiliate there, uh, his name, uh, where is it, is Vincent Sanuti. He was an uncle of one of the brides. He was found outside. This is just, it's, it's nuts. That's why I eloped. Is that <laughs> to avoid this sort of thing? You know, you just never know when you get relatives together. What's going to happen? You just never know. Well, you never know. Apparently the two parties met around the bar at 2, no good happens at a bar at 2 a.m., Mm -mm. So, yeah, that's, awesome. uh, yeah, that's, oh, that's I mean, awful. imagine, like, you know, this day that you want to be the happiest Special day of your day. life. Yeah. yeah. Although it does mean you will have stories that will last a lifetime uh, about your wedding. If you live through it. Yeah. Uh, Pinley on Twitter says, what the hell is wrong with people these days? Terrible tragedy fall involved. What a wedding. Yeah. Two, yeah. two weddings. Two weddings there. Mm -hmm. um, also, which then gets us, of course, to the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion, which, uh, who saw, <laughs> anyone who watched the reunion last night? <laughs> be honest the last time I was here the, yeah you, I was in the middle you were on the right you were on the show where Teresa was on our show for the first I time thought I, was, I, I debated whether or not to crawl under the table yeah, I like in this Literally. picture there's a picture of you from the show oh yeah. you're like looking down uh, like you're in your happy place your special yeah. place you're trying to be like anywhere but here um, it was like a ping pong ball watching well, I, it go well, back and, and forth. And I, I later on uh, looked at the tape, and I thought I was a little aggressive with her, so we had her on the next day and, and sort of cleared the air and everything. Um, so uh -huh. I was glad to have her back on the show. But if you watched the reunion episode last night, I mean, the drama, again, I was excited because <sighs> at the end of the first reunion show, there had been uh, one of the, the people off camera, the sister of one of the, the, the women, I never remember their names, was Rosie was screaming because they were talking about Rosie's father, and Rosie was screaming, I'm gonna cut out her tongue! I'll cut out her tongue! I thought it was a guy in the back. I thought it was the husband of one of them. It turned out it was Ooh. Rosie, the sister. Anyway, uh, Andy Cohen from. Could you imagine one of those weddings? <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, let's take a look at the clip from, uh, from last night's show. I'll rip her head off! I swear to Christ! You better wash your tongue! Because I'll cut it right the out! Thank you, God. Oh my God. Thank you, God. God thank you, okay. God. Crazy. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Who were you talking to? Uh, Alvi. Excuse me? A friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine. I was taking care of things back home. Why, why pretend to be speaking another language if it was a coworker? 
It wasn't another language. What happened is uh, he put my Spanish pizza guy on the phone. At all. That was Joe, Teresa's husband, who was talking on the phone during one of the episodes. How do you... You missed a lot. It gives me anxiety. Uh, no. Oh, well, you oh, know what's funny? I have a panic attack. The, the, after the first reunion oh. show, I had to take an Ambien to go to sleep because I was so I'm upset. I'm so I last, had to drink. So last night... I took half an Ambien before the reunion show. That's true. So you could sleep through it. No, so that I was getting drowsy toward the end, and when it was done, I was kind of sedated, <laughs> and I could go right to sleep. Uh, Bravo's uh, Andy Cohen is kind enough to uh, join us uh, on the phone. Hey, Andy, how's it going? It's going great. I, uh, I'm so interested in your dosing yourself for the reunion. I have to figure out what to dose myself with. I took half an Ambien uh, right. before the show, and I might have had a glass of red wine, and I know you're not supposed to mix the two, but it was that kind of a night. I think I might crush up a Xanax next time I shoot a reunion <laughs> show. So I got to ask you about this Joe thing, because yes. you didn't look like you believed his explanation, and I didn't understand his explanation at all. During the the episode, he was talking on the phone like lovey-dovey, right. and then he's saying horrible things about his wife right. in English to somebody, and then he tells his wife she shouldn't get on the phone because he's talking in Spanish to somebody who doesn't understand English. The whole thing right. didn't make any sense to me. Did it right. make sense to you? Um, well, I'll tell you what. We did a poll on Watch What Happens Live last night, and... Uh, it was a landslide. Ninety-five percent of people said that they absolutely didn't believe uh, what Joe said. I think what's important is that Teresa seems to. She said she got a lot of jewelry out of that incident. Um, he had to buy her a lot of kind of makeup jewelry. And rich people problems. There oh. you go. Rich people Just, problems. Oh, bless them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was, I was confused, but it was a day of confusion, Anderson. Yeah, we, there were at times, I mean, I certainly felt for you during this episode, because I felt like, I mean, there's only so much you can do, I, and I think you did a very good job of kind of, like, riding the waves and just letting it happen and then, like, right. pulling back. So when Rosie came out, I was scared she was actually going to cut out Teresa's tongue. Well, you know, I couldn't hear exactly what she was saying backstage, I couldn't hear the specific. I heard that she was really upset and she was freaking out. And the, the, the problem, and at that point when she was freaking out, there was so much heat on, on set. And I was kind of losing it because I thought, God, these women now are just hurting each other so badly. How do we continue? And the rosy package was meant to be a moment of positivity. And when she came out, you know, I specifically didn't ask her why she was flipping out backstage because I did not right. want to instigate another fight. We had had enough. I wanted to have a discussion and kind of focus on some positivity between those two sisters. Uh, I thought it was a nice thing that you did to try to get it off. Because, I mean, I, the, the, who wants to see a tongue, a tongue being cut out on live television? It's just not I anything know. you want to witness. You've got you to go to a wedding in Philly for that. <laughs> That's right, exactly. <laughs> well, listen, Andy, I know there's another episode coming up uh, next week of the reunion. Yeah, Sunday at 10 o'clock on Broadway. Tonight is the New York reunion. There. Tonight is the New York reunion, oh. and it's like a fun, okay. fizzy, light cocktail. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not sure emotionally I can handle that, Andy, but I appreciate it. Andy, thanks for, uh, for calling in. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah. My um, goodness. The other uh, exciting news is uh, Adele has released uh, her first song since her 21 album, and um, uh, it's for the new James Bond yes. film, Skyfall. Everyone loves Adele. Adele is amazing. Jeez. We've got, we've got One this. One of the best yeah. voices. We've got just a little, a little uh, sneak peek at, at the Adele song with some of the James Bond Wonderful. stuff. Let's take a look. I'm actually uh, for, uh, I work for 60 Minutes and also, and uh, I'm actually doing a piece on the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. of James Bond. So I interviewed Daniel Craig for uh -huh. this new movie. I went on the set. It's, it looks like a great, great film. Well, it's funny, I, I interviewed Adele for 60 Minutes last year in an interview. Yeah. And, you know, she had had throat problems. Mm -hmm. And she curses a lot in real life. I mean, she's a, she's a lovely lady. She's so much fun to hang out with. She's the kind of person, she's so down to earth. She's like you. She's totally down to earth. She's, oh. She hasn't let, gotten a big head or anything. Anyway, she was recovering from throat surgery, and she kept saying 
telling me like what her throat looked like and, and showing me a picture on her iPhone. And she kept saying to me, and by the way, she was cursing so much, we had to like edit around it during the 60 Minutes piece, because 60 Minutes is sort of conservative. Before. And she kept saying to me about her throat, she kept saying, it looked like I had a vagina in me throat. <laughs> And I was like, Oh, you did the accent yeah. so well. I was like, I don't think we can say vagina in 60 minutes. <laughs> I think Morley Safer will like keel over. So, um, uh, but she was so much fun. And I heard you got a record deal. I did. That's I just got a record deal. Yeah. That's, so, so that's so great. I just signed with Black River, and I'm so excited. We're writing and looking for songs now. And so, when do you think it'll come out? Next year. Excellent. Cool. Thank well, I'd love you. to have you perform. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank cool. You. Uh, we got, we're going to take a quick break. Up next, you're never going to believe why this mom was arrested. Plus, uh, from audience member uh, cooking uh, to uh, superstar, we're going to uh, check in with Candace, who was on the show last week. Find out what's going on in her life since she was oh, on the right. show. We'll be right back. Chris Renee from uh, X Factor is going to be performing. We've got a lot of the audience. We've also got a great look at uh, an anger uh, hidden camera investigation we did, basically giving advice to people on how to kind of dial it back so you don't get at, end up in a fight like those folks in Philadelphia at the wedding. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to Chris Renee performing. Uh, that should be a lot of I fun. I met him it's earlier. He is so nice. Yeah, so and nice. he was practicing earlier, and yeah. he sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. He so sounds talented. really good. So, uh, got a couple of have, other items. I have to tell you this. Okay. Okay. It's disturbing. <laughs> so this woman apparently oh, I saw this. I saw this. gave yeah. her 11-year-old daughter a tattoo. This is a woman in North Carolina. A, and of course. This lady here. That's where I'm from. <laughs> no, it doesn't say anything about North Carolina, but it, 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 <laughs> she obviously likes tattoos. Her 11-year-old daughter, I read in the paper, was saying wanted a tattoo. And she was like, okay, not only will I give her a tattoo, I will personally give her the tattoo. So she put that tattoo on her own daughter. Mm. Can you believe? I, I think she is. She goes to court. Maybe yeah, she's not. she's she got arrested for it because yeah. it's against the law for someone under, under 18, 18 mm -hmm. to get a tattoo. And I'm I like yeah, tattoos. Yeah, I mean I I have a tattoo, but I'm tattoo? a grown woman. You know, it's like. Can that, you say what? What are your tattoos? I can't say it. No. Oh, this oh. one's pray. Okay. And then I have um, some stars on my forearm for my USO tours. Oh, cool. When we go overseas to Iraq or Afghanistan. Oh, that's great. Um, I get a star. So. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, and I have my grandma's name, and I have forgive, and I have a heart. Wow, you got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> See, I really want, I want to get a tattoo, but a, I feel like I'm 45 now. I feel like maybe I've crossed the, oh, the, the threshold at which that's it's appropriate. Young. I worry it's no longer appropriate. No, no, you're young. The other thing is I don't know what I want that I could commit to that I would it's not forever. feel bad about. I know. So and that's I hear. the thing. That's that's the thing too. You know, a, an adult, we know and understand fully what we're committing to. Right. An 11 year old child, they they don't understand and I they know, don't know. I remember when I was a kid, I really wanted a tattoo. And my dad, I was like eight or nine, mm -hmm. and my dad drew like a drawing yeah. on my arm, and I was so excited. I thought it was the coolest thing. But yeah. you know, that washes off. Mm -hmm. uh, Joanne on Twitter says uh, they should tattoo bad mother on her forehead. Ah! That's maybe a bit, good. That might be a bit much. Good. Um, another, uh, just another quick Childish. item in the news to tell you about. Again, this guy keeps making news. I can't believe we're even saying his name again. Joran Vandersloot, remember that guy? Uh, who was, uh, you know, wanted in, in connection with the disappearance of, of Natalie Holloway, wanted in the United States, now serving time in Peru for the murder of a, of a Peruvian woman. He apparently, according to a Dutch newspaper, um, though he's serving a 28-year sentence, somehow he has gotten a, a, a lady pregnant while, yeah, while he's in jail. He was jail. unsupervised? He, he, he was well, having... that's comforting. He was having, right. Uh, they, uh, they've only released her name as being Lady or Lidi, and uh, they were having an unsupervised visit, and apparently she got pregnant. So That's this, this, what do y'all think about that? This may be a way for him to, if he gets Peruvian citizenship, he can avoid extradition when he's released 28 years from now 
so that he wouldn't be, because uh, he's wanted in the United him. States. Well, he's wanted in the United States, so they wouldn't be able to extradite him if he's a uh. Peruvian citizen. He'd be able to, so anyway, we'll see. We'll see if it's well. true or not. It's just right now out of this Dutch, Dutch newspaper. Last week on the show, we met a woman named Candace, who, she was so great in our audience. She was so much fun. She basically accosted Mar Martin Short when he was, uh, <laughs> he was the co-host. She wanted me to like her restaurant on Facebook. Her restaurant is called the Harlan's, I think, in Houston, Texas. I yeah, bet Harlan's. she has a lot of likes now. So anyway, so then we had her on the show. We did. We had her stay over the next day. She did a cooking segment with us. She um, and she made this baked potato with, which had like everything in it. Anyway, she is back home, and she says that her life has changed since being on the show. She's joining us now via a satellite from oh, her Houston wonderful. affiliate, KRIV hey. Fox 28. Hey. So, Candace, how's it going? Hey, Anderson, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm here with hey, Kelly, Kelly today. Hey, honey, how are I you? I know. Kelly, congratulations on your new album coming oh, out. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, you are so sweet. You're welcome. So, Candace, uh, Anderson. you're, back, you in, have you're back. back in Houston. How's your life? <laughs> oh, Anderson. Oh. Anderson, first of all, I got to thank you. I got to thank the whole crew for just giving me this opportunity. I started off with 978 lights. On your and Facebook And I got page. right now, because I'm looking at it. Okay. I got 5,867. All right. That's cool. Anderson. All right. What is, what, what is, how do people find you on Facebook? What's your Facebook uh, address? You go to Harlan's Barbecue and you just search Harlan's Barbecue on Facebook. Okay. And I hear you got people Perfect. calling Anderson. you from all around for recipes and stuff. Oh, Everywhere. So Anderson, I just got to say, I just got to say, Canada loves you, Anderson. <laughs> you got to wish Canada happy Thanksgiving today, Anderson. You got okay? a lot of people from Canada? They're celebrating their Thanksgiving today. I know they are. They love you. Canada is celebrating Thanksgiving and we wish them, uh, we wish them yes. the best today. We got people from all over. Have you ever heard of Nacogdoches, Texas? I have. town in Texas. Yes. They love you there. <laughs> hey, and Anderson, do yeah. you remember a Norma, Norma McDonald? She said she yeah. sent you a sock monkey cake. You remember that? Oh, what? Um, a sock monkey cake. Y you would think a sock Anderson. monkey cake would stick in my mind. I, I think <laughs> I remember it. Yeah, I think I remember it. I told her I was going to ask you. I told her I was going to ask you, Anderson. So, no, Candace, are you but getting Anderson, ready? We're going to send you to the, uh, to, we're going to send you to a gumbo festival oh, to God. report for us uh, from Louisiana. Are, uh, are you, you up for that? Oh, Anderson. Anderson, yes. I'm your girl. All right. Your girl. <laughs> All right. That's what we got to do. We don't stick together. All right. Oh, I love her. All right, Candace, um, uh, I'm glad. We're going to check in with you. We're, let's get those Facebook likes up to 10,000. Okay, That's what we're aiming like for. Now. All right. Everybody like Harlan's Barbecue. Harlan's bar. It's H A R L O N S. Is that right? H yes, sir. All barbecue, right. BBQ. <laughs> like baby, baby queen. All right, Candace, you take care. We'll talk to you soon. Anderson, wanna, thank you. Happy right. birthday, Mom. I want to thank our Houston affiliate, KRIV uh, Fox over there. Uh, go to entertainment.com to see Candace's Facebook page, and you can give her a like. She's very enthusiastic. She's Up next, so great. She's great.